Thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to see how I personalize this cup that I purchased from Dollar Tree, make sure you keep watching. Now I'm over in Canva. Usually when I do a personalized item, I'll use Canva. So I'm just going to use a customized size, which is 5.5 5 .5 inches. And now I'm just going to select the upload that I previously uploaded. So now I'm just sizing the image to fit on the canvas. So now I'm going to select text. And I'm going to just type in my name because this cup is for me. So then I'm going to go up and use a font. I'm going to use a font that I've already uploaded. You can use one of um, Canva's fonts, but... I previously uploaded some fonts, so I'm going to go with one. It's called Christmas Wishes. And now I'm just going to size it. And the red line that keeps appearing, that just means that my um, text is centered. So I've just changed the color to red. But as you can see, Canva offers you the colors that's in the picture that you're using, which is really a great tool to use. But I'm going to go with red because the letters at the top is red. And now I'm just going to download it and I'm going to use a transparent background and hit download. And once my file has downloaded, it will appear at the bottom of the screen. And now I'm in Silhouette Studios, where I usually print out my images. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the file that I just downloaded from Canva. And I'm going to minimize the screen just so I can fit my image on the um, white canvas. And now I'm going to size the image to 9 in width and 4.75 in height. And once I've sized it, I'm going to go ahead and maximize the screen again.
and then I'm going to center my image on the canvas. So now I'm gonna go up and hit the print icon. And I'm gonna hit print. And select the printer that I'm gonna use, which is my Epson. And I'm gonna flip the image horizontally and hit print now my image is printing okay this is the image that I printed out as you can see it's mirrored because um, most sublimation items should be mirrored because more than likely you're putting it on something like that so yeah and this is the Dollar Tree mug that I'm using So this screw, the top screws off and it comes off like that. So, you know, this is the inside of the cup. And this paper comes out. They're just showing you how you can design your own mug. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this on top of here. And just trace around it. Yeah, I can do a lot of stuff, but tracing is not one of them. Okay, one more side. I mean, I cut it close. So now, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the image out. Y'all know what I just learned recently? I learned that the thumb goes in here and the other fingers go in here. I, I used to always use it like this. So yeah, you learn something new every day. And you know what? That wasn't even something I learned. That was something that I, I, I just happened to pick up the scissors and was like, hold on, wait. So my fingers don't have to hurt. Yeah, it'd be the most basic stuff that I can't get, like, get together in my head. I don't know what be going on. But, yeah. 
That's that. So, we're going to put it over it and make sure. So, that's how we're making our template. So, we can put this one to the side. So, now, in this project, I'm going to use um, a laminated sheet since I'm using sublimation. But say you don't have a sublimation machine, you got a printer, you can pr you can print this out. This is just a regular piece of paper that has that has been printed. And you know what, you're going to take that. And these colors are not even vibrant because I have to change my ink. So, it's a regular inkjet printer. But I said since I'm doing a um since I'm doing a video, I guess I'ma do it the fancy way. So I'm gonna take a laminated sheet. Let's put this to the side. So, as you can see, the laminated sheet comes, it comes with two sides. I guess I ripped this one already. Mm -mm. We're going to use a brand new one because we're not even going to do that. Okay, so here's a brand new one. So, I'm just going to open it. And you can laminate um, the ones that you use on the inkjet printer, too. But what you would do with this one is you would probably have to stick it inside the pouch and laminate the whole um, thing. But since we're doing sublimation... We're going to tear this in half. And I'm using permanent I'm using permanent uh, vinyl. It'll all make sense in a minute. So what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to let's see So all I did was measure my laminated sheet um, with the with the um, with the permanent vinyl. So now I'm just gonna lay this on top of here. And laminating on top of vinyl, you want to you want to make sure all the excess vinyl is cut off because the vinyl will stick to whatever it's laying on. So now there's a shiny side 
and there's a matte side. You're gonna lay the matte side on top of the shiny side. So both of the shiny sides are facing up. Okay, I'm gonna sit that there and I'm gonna start the heat press. And I'll catch you over at the heat press once it warms up. Okay, so now we're over here at the heat press. And what I'm gonna do is... y'all all this time I was thought I was recording my camera had cut off so it already so let me go back through the steps again so I had the shiny side of the vinyl facing up and the shiny side of the laminate sheet facing up and I I put butcher paper on the top and I pressed it down for 20 seconds. So I'm just repressing it for a couple seconds to, cause it'll curl up once it start cooling off. So you see it went flat again. So now we're gonna take it over to our image. Okay, so here is the um, the vinyl that's been laminated. Let's set that to the side. And we don't wanna do like yesterday and forget the butcher paper. When you are sublimating, you need butcher paper, butcher paper, butcher paper. If not, your, your ink, your sublimation ink will bleed over onto your machine. Luckily, mine didn't yesterday. Thank God. So. Now let's put the butcher paper to the side. And now we're just going to um so here's the image. We're gonna lay the image face down on the uh laminated vinyl. I'm trying to think, should I put heat tape? Hmm, yeah. So I'm gonna put heat resistant tape on it. Just so the image won't move around. So now we're gonna go back over to the heat press. And so I'm not gonna do that on camera, but I'm gonna go back to the heat press and press this at 400 on 40 seconds. Butcher paper. See how the um, vinyl stuck to the butcher paper? So, moment of review. You know, we always gotta keep them fingers crossed. So, I'm gonna get my little tweezers. I 
Oh yeah, I'm messing up. So what I'm going to do now is I have to cut it down um, to the size. So there's our template. So we can easily put it in there like that. Oh Lord, I'm got it all right. But what I am gonna do is be real fancy and stick it on the actual mug. So I'm just going to peel the backing off. The backing is is sticky. So here I'm just taping the image to the cup and I did notice I had to cut some extra pieces off. God says you are unique, special, lovely, precious, strong, chosen, and forgiven. And it has like the songs and where it came from. So if you like my videos and want to see more on sublimation, make sure you click the playlist on the screen. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.